Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Clue Linux. Uh, I thought it was about time I catch up a bit and show the progress. I'm currently using the semi-final build. Um, from here on out, everything is virtually final. Uh, now I'm just fixing bugs and touching up. So uh, I'm going to show you some stuff that you've seen before and then I'm going to show you some stuff you haven't seen before. So let's get the obvious out of the way. Um, I've been doing some more work on themes. You'll notice uh, a couple of things. One, uh, the window border no longer has the bright white line that kind of used to be all around. It also doesn't have the different shades. It used to have like a, a go from dark to light and then dark again. That's been removed. The border now pretty much is a clone of the if you see the bottom panel and you look at the window border you'll see they're virtually identical so I literally just sat and, and spent time um, making them you know look alike look alike because I wanted to um, I wanted them to to sort of you know be the same sort of uh, keep everything standard and so forth so I spent a lot more time working on this 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 window border to get it to look like that okay um the other thing you'll notice is the gtk3 uh, the gtk theme i have now done some work on the gtk theme if you actually open up the oxygen theme and then put the gtk theme next to it you'll see that the the colors of ev just about everything is virtually the same so i've kind of spent time uh, between the different themes making them look alike um I didn't want to do the highlights blue on the GTK because I wanted to establish the difference between you know normal and GTK so um, the highlights are kind of sort of a, a off whitish brown kind of color text all pops up nice and black so there are slight differences between the the oxygen theme and the GTK theme but apart from those um, for the most part they they almost identical so uh, yes yeah, so I've spent a lot of time uh, getting these themes uh, standardized throughout the system so they look very pretty um, everything's just perfect now it's like um, you know just just perfect in so many ways um, so that's the themes as for the special effects you guys have seen the special effects before it's got the cube it's got the unfolded cube um, it's got the cylinder so you've got the nice cylinder what I haven't showed you um, is the other special effects you've now also got um, the uh, um, what's this bloody thing called um, hold on uh, motion blur I've enabled the motion blur effects uh, I've been tweaking on that a little bit so just to get it to to flow nicely in KDE so motion blur is fully operational um, you've got the fireworks effect so you can kind of throw fireworks all over the system that's kind of nice just for show I guess I've also enabled the water effects so you can kind of uh, put some water effects on the desktop if you want so with me playing and fixing plugins and stuff on compers and just making sure everything's working I've I've been tweaking a lot of the the, the effects and switching them on um, I, they, I will be doing a video on all the all of the effects and I will put it on the website um, for now just know that that's all, all operational I've also done some work on the system settings some more work here you'll see there one or two additional icons um, the digital camera so you can configure cameras uh, color correction on devices I've added more display options um, so yeah so there are a couple of extra things in here this is now virtually a full fully uh, packed um, system settings to just change and edit just about anything on your system um, okay so that's the known stuff that I've mostly uh, spoke about in previous videos that I've just improved on oh the one other thing I want to point out this really awesome border theme I made um, I just want to go and show you I'm kind of still a little bit busy with it I know I've got to do the screenshots and stuff so excuse the screenshots but um, there it is default it's called default this is what it looks like if you go default line that's the old one you can actually see the 
the, the shade that you see it going from black to crystal clear and then the white line whereas in this one it's just crystal clear it, it doesn't have that black shade it also has no line okay um so that's the old one and that's the changes are made to it you can literally if i sort of you can see the difference it might be a minor difference but there's still a difference and a lot of lot of tweaking to get it that way um the other thing i wanted to point out was that i made the buttons um on the buttons by default on the right obviously but you do get the guys that prefer the buttons on the left and for that reason i have made a a left side version of it so the guys that prefer the buttons on the right it will be like that when you install but the guys that prefer the buttons on the left can literally just select default left so you got default default left and then default line uh, couldn't think of a better name I guess but that's the one with a highlighted line so you got uh, default default left to the buttons on the left and then you got the line okay so um, I thought that was a nice touch for the guys that kind of prefer the buttons on the left hand side of the window uh, but like the new theme you know you can kind of use it for that the other change is that I've been making a lot of uh, video tutorials to show off things about like how to configure workspaces how to um, edit themes and things like that and so just a whole bunch of how to videos just on how to do stuff and I've put a link on the desktop to that so you can just double click that link and it will actually open up the sorry my net's a bit slow so it will take a while to load um, it will open up a link directly to the forums to that uh, thread and in there I'm just chucking video tutorial after video tutorial and um, you know if somebody asks me a question and probably even after release if somebody asks me how do I do this and if I get enough questions on the topic I'll probably make a vi another video on that topic as well so um, yeah sorry man I'm, I'm downloading some series in the background and the net is already slow as is so um, this could take a while too but I'm just gonna skip it uh, well there we go I'm just gonna minimize it okay so if you actually look here there's the topic series of videos and just let the topic load yeah talk about slow internet hey eh? it's one of the reasons I want to get out of this country um, these are just a lot of videos as you can see the first one's installation guide um, the one below that is editing and styling um, the one below that is uh, how to move the panel the one below that is how to manage virtual desktops and I'll probably still be adding quite a bunch more so there's a whole bunch of videos uh, that users can sort of um, use to guide them so that's quite nice um, now the biggest change in this edition or the biggest addition to this edition addition to edition yeah is that um, somebody actually mentioned the word backup in uh, China in one of the videos that I did and I thought about it and you know what um, I actually added a feature here that will literally allow you to make a complete backup of your system so if you click there it's in the under the system there's a backup button if you click back backup it will actually pop up and ask you for your root password you say yes and it will pop up a window and it will say do you want to make a full remaster sys iso backup of your system this will make a one-to-one -one backup of your current system that you can install at any point the iso will be placed and then it gives you a directory it does take a while to make the iso so be patient the iso must be less than four gigabytes to work so please make sure to clean out your home folder before you create the backup now I'm going to obviously say no because I don't have time to sit through this but basically it's just a remaster sys copy that I've installed on the system here and I've configured this to all do this whole thing automatically if you click yes it will literally pop up a console window uh, all the all the configs everything set up um, everything's pretty much done there's nothing else you have to click you just click yes and it will literally uh, automate through the rest of the process all on its own and it will create an ISO of your system as it is with your home folders with your documents folders with your music with your videos anything that's on your system if you change a theme it will make a backup of that too as your system currently is as you see it here um, it will make an exact one-to-one -one copy of of the system 
it will put it in the ISO folder, it will put it in home remaster sys, remaster sys. So if you actually go after you finish, you go look in that folder, you'll find an ISO file. You can burn that to, to DVD or you can uh, um, create a USB um, stick. There is a USB here, startup disk creator. You can use that to, to make a bootable disk or fit a bootable USB. And uh, you can install that on any system. It will keep everything that you have standard as is like I said even if you change the wallpaper it will then put the new wallpaper into the ISO so you make a one-to-one -one backup of your current system as it is um, but be warned as it says here the ISO can't be more than four gigabytes big that's the limitation so uh, you can't go and dump 20 gigs of movies on your system because it's gonna pump out a 25 gig ISO file or something and that will not work so you'll have to clean out things that that you know things like big things like videos and and things like that and music folders and whatever else um, but as long as the ISO is four gigs or smaller perfect so yeah so you the use end user now has the ability to make a one-to-one -one backup of his system into ISO format with a single click it's just one click yes um, obviously I'm gonna say no and once you actually do it this is the result there we go it will make a Makulu Linux.iso file to and it will generate the MD5 for you and then that file you can just burn to disk make a USB whatever so uh, so the end user now has the ability to um, to sort of make a, a quick easy backup of the system as is of course if you prefer to backup certain files and folders then you'll have to install a proper backup app like lucky backup or something like that because that has this is plainly for making a one-to-one -one system a one-to-one -one ISO of the whole system as is so yeah but still a very neat very very cool um, a lot of people don't know how to use these backup tools and stuff and there's a lot of config files to configure and and things like that um, I've done all that for you so it's just a one-click backup so that I thought that was pretty neat apart from that um, you guys have seen the rest uh, I'm not going to go into too too much detail on on everything else the system is fully operational it's pretty it's fast it's rock solid stable no crashes um, it's gonna be one hell of a release and I just keep adding to the magic so uh, I am hoping this will I am hoping this will go live in the next week or so um, I don't want to promise anything but if 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 testing doesn't bring out any big bugs could be as early as this upcoming Sunday otherwise most likely I'll target the Sunday afterwards because I like doing my releases on Sundays like Sunday late afternoon kind of thing but anyway um, so yeah this is Jacques from Makulu Linux I just thought I'd update you guys on the progress um, chat to you soon